inside and find him space, then so we sit down, then you may so we begin our time together, Lord. Praise and worship of God, we this fellow morning. Feel free as we come inside his presence. Nothing but just worship of God, we this fellow day to day. So let your hearts follow me, run away, we come this fellow morning. Let's say we may have a God, and also we look at God, we this fellow morning. As the Bible may continue, Lord, time will be of this fellow morning. Just find him space outside if you look at any space low bottom of trees and he cold a little bit, then him some sit down as we continue no time to me. But let him have some focus on as we come together this for morning as families. For looking God bring me this for morning. But we go straight number of time to me this for morning. Every illness and pastors will be your finish. But you mean just all rise together no more? We'll begin our time. We'll sing him our dog soul deep limit and you may have a continue. For giving time to pass, we'll give us what a welcome. Lord, this Allah morning. Well, salute to our God with this Allah morning. Sing him our dog soul deep. My God, the four foot and
this morning. You are here this morning. You are welcome, welcome in the presence of our God this morning in our time together. And also this morning, amongst us too, one of our elder, John said, honestly, this morning he is with us again. Uh, this morning, uh, we don't expect you here, but you are here this morning on behalf of our leadership once again. We welcome you in the midst of our people and our congregation this morning in our time together. And also this morning, on behalf of our leadership, I would like to welcome the Honorable Ellison this morning in our time together. Let's give a high praise to our God for our great leaders that God has used them for that God has led his people as we continue in our time to get continue to bless us as we continue to worship him this morning in our time together and also amongst us to the worship team this morning on behalf of our leaders let us welcome them as God will use them as we will continue to worship our God in our time together here in his presence this morning and also this morning on behalf of our ladies let us welcome our uh, media team this morning that they are here with us and they put us uh, on and to declare the name of the Lord from the ends of the earth that the world Solomon Island that this this is our God that we save so this morning on behalf of our ladies let us welcome to extend this warm welcome to all of you this morning in our time together as we are here this morning that you are here with us you are welcome this morning in our time together as we are here to worship to lead us in our time of worship this morning thank you thank you pastor for welcome some of our rest together, chiefs, as we come this fellow morning. Let us be looking God blue over to heart blue this fellow morning. John, let me tell him. They that worship me in spirit and in truth. I am not happy with God, I will give this fellow morning here. Because you are here, not for come looking what else are here, but you are here for come looking God blue. So, some I call upon thee. Team to the front of France. That's why we continue for different families, different backgrounds. But this morning, we are one in the body of God as we come for worshiping this father. Morning as we come in his presence. So let me be all that will pray. So pray, thank you, Lord God, Lord. How we lead me through this following in this month. Why we finish and we come for this morning. Let me be praying to God. Thank you, my Lord, your majesty.
Lord, they are going to us. And this morning, Lord, we have come humbly before you. Nothing but just to give you praise from our hearts, Father. Yeah, Lord, we give you praise. We give you all the glory for what you are to us. And all of us are going to say, let's be with the spirit together. Tell them what's in heart with you, oh God. I'm looking for blue in the full face this morning. Because this one is the land of the tribe of Judah. Let us pray. Thank you, my Lord, your mighty Amen. Lord, let's go. 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 Lord, Once again, you may get my privilege for you may have my two niggas well here, Brother Henry, Brother Henry, still with me, and also Pastor John here with me. me. Let me give a hand of praise to God for our two servants who are here, or towards our time, or even our Papa Louis to this ceremony, one from Hat Blog God with this holiday today. Our church, you ready? Yes. So this time we give one. Thank you, Lord. My Lord, your majesty. God, you are holy. God, you are righteous. Father, we honor you. We lift up your name. We salute you. You are the only God we declared from the ends of the earth. In Jesus' name. Amen. Before you be by to seven from God here, I have something we like to say to me this morning. Those who are watching out there, as you part with us, thank you for being we part together. There is two important prayers, Lord Jesus in the Garden of Eden. His first pray, said, Father,
with great expectation for what never happened. And this is the answer God gave us. Jesus Christ will come back yet until time of restoration has to take place. And now that's why we work on it. Can come passion today. And you might ask, when him no restoration? Some of the people define him restoration as an act of repairing something, as an act of rehabilitating something, as an act of rebuilding something, or an act of reconstruction. For him to go back to the awesome original plan more. Him no what him restoration is all about. And I believe all of us can confirm that restoration is urgently needed now in all institutions in this nation. Am I true? Beginning in the family right up to the government. We need restoration now. So what I'm now in this context has been in everything here. In society, when we talk about everything, everything. Nothing is left outside now. Yet. So how now process blow restoration by him start? Go to him reveal him me. Restoration by him start. And this for the event, restoration law, this for something here, him lead up for restoration law, everything here. Yeah? You shall be looking for Amos chapter 9, verse 11 to 12. And now we read him and say, On that day I will raise up the tabernacle of David, which has fallen down. And repair its damages. I will raise up its ruins and build it as in the days of old, that they may possess the remnant of Edom and all the Gentiles who are called by my name, says the Lord who does this thing. So, process for restoration, name start, time, restoration, Lord Tabernacle of David by him start. Alright, so what am not Tabernacle of David? The tabernacle of David is about 24-7 throne room worship. The tabernacle of David is about throne room watch. And the tabernacle of David is about throne room intercession. So someone in describing worship, worship around the globe, worship around the globe, worship around the throne. So God said one day, he will repair its damages, he will raise up its ruins, and rebuild it as in the days of old. And this is the restoration of the tabernacle of David. So how does Colossians 3 verse 23 to 24 I'm talk about whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for men. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. So work, responsibilities or obligations are referred to here as an act of worship 24-7. Because we are called to do it for the Lord and not for men or any other institutions that we are serving. So how now restoration of all things by take place? So in society, everyone is unique. One and now meaning unique. Unique means each of us is one of its kind. Unique means we are unequal. Unique means we are unparalleled. Unique means we are unrivaled. Or our uniqueness is shown in our different gifts and talents and areas of expertise. So since work is related to gifts, talents, callings, specialties, expertise, let's use them as an act of worship to do the work of restoration. Am I true? So let's start now. Therefore, restoration of everything is worshiping God 24-7 with our gifts, talents, callings, specialties, and expertise to restore and transform our society now. Not tomorrow, but now. So what actually is the seven mountains or the seven spheres of our society? The first mountain is the sphere of arts and entertainment. This sphere involves culture. This fear involves sports and recreation. So in terms of culture, worthy traditions here and valuable practices here, you must preserve them. And new innovations too must be encouraged. In sports, worthy sports culture too must be developed, but by balance and managed properly. While recreation and leisure must also be developed, 
managed and stewarded. And that's the sphere of arts and entertainment where Gordon said we must restore it. And the second sphere in society is called business and finance. Now the capitalistic and the socialistic way of doing things have been found to be wanting. One I'm not meaning capitalistic here. Two world systems were ruling world, communism with them, democracy, de uh, democracy now capitalistic system and born from, and socialism now I mean communism and born out from. So in these two systems, people become slaves to the system. Instead of the system saving their well-beings, people are treated as mere slaves, assets and liabilities. Therefore, a completely new system and a new mindset are required to do the business, to do business in a new way. So this one, those who are in this field, you have to come out. The second, third sphere of our society is called church and religion. In both democracy and communism, God is not accounted for. Democracy and the tolerated religion destroy it because it sees it as an enemy and a hindrance to its cause. Alright? So we need a system that is based on the biblical concept which affirms that God is the heart of everything. The biblical kingdom sees life as a whole and one. Man's spiritual, social, mental and physical needs must be addressed equally. Alright, so those that you mean no church, you we must work on this. Restoring church for come to original nation of media. Where me happy to must be looking somewhere else, but boys play me come up very strong this time. Media is a powerful tool here, and also is a vehicle. Alright? This must be fully harnessed and used only to cultivate and promote positive elements of society and fight against all negative influences to the well-being of society as a whole. And this sphere is very, very powerful sphere, not this world media. Another sphere is education and science. The biblical worldview is that God is the creator, sustainer of all things, and the judge to whom all accountable for all they do. He is the source of true knowledge and wisdom, and from whom understanding and enlightenment springs forth. Personal with them, relational knowledge from God, and also them springboard for true education. And literacy in all spheres has to be eradicated. And there should be those in education must come up yeah, to address this. And the sphere of governance and law. The last time the government of God was on earth was in the Garden of Eden. No time in history and no place on earth has been, as the government of God has been seen more than once. The Lord is only uh, teaching me how to pray the kingdom of God to come. But the Bible is affirmative that the kingdom will appear in the end time and th that will remain forever. The time is now coming to fulfillment. Praise the Lord. Alright? So him now about what now one time we talk about everything, what not everything. The seven sphere of society is everything that needs to be restored. Okay, when will the restoration process him start? What time now restoration here by him start here? First, there has to be an event taking place and that even is what Isaiah 40 verse 5 will talk about and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all mankind together will see it and that even two Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 14 will talk about and the knowledge of the glory of the Lord shall cover the earth as the waters cover the sea for goodness sake my people that event had started already in, since 2017 let's give a hand for the Lord So what actually now this whole event here? What actually now this whole event? This event is the revelation of the glory of the Lord. This was the season which John the Revelator saw. Look, the lion from the tribe of Judah, the root of David has conquered. He can open the scroll and the seven seals. Revelation 5 is 5 and talk about. The lion from the tribe of Judah has now come. And he is the only one who is worthy to open the scroll and to break its seven seals. And in opening the scroll, my good people, there's the opening of the word of God and granting us wisdom, knowledge, and revelation for us to function. The breaking of the seven seals launches Jesus, the Lord Jesus Christ into his new end time activities. Therefore, this event has been confirmed to have started in 2017 
as far as this move of the glory is concerned. And it is the introduction of crossing the threshold into the new season. It is what the whole movement is all about. It is what the Feast of Tabernacles is all about. It is what other scholars call the latter rain. It is what James is talking about, chapter 5, verse 7, and he say, So be patient, brothers, until the coming of the Lord. See how the farmer waits for the precious crop from the land, being patient with it until it receives the fall and the spring rain. James said, look at the world as a farm. On the day of Pentecost was the early rain, or the fall rain, which allowed for the farm to be planted. And churches as the body of Christ are planted everywhere for the past 2,000 years around the world. Am I true? And James prophesied that there will be another coming and it is the latter rain or the spring rain. This is the rain that will gather and do the cleansing of the church as the body of Christ. Ready for the final harvest. Let's give hand for the Lord. So therefore, my good people, his coming here is to prepare the world for his return. His coming here is to woken up the sleeping Cinderella, the bride from her many years of slumber, preparing for the wedding day. His coming here is what we refer to as the revelation of His glory. His coming here is what we describe as the manifest, resident presence of God. In other words, this is the season of God's habitation on earth in spirit. It is moving us a step closer towards the ultimate reality of the presence of, of the tabernacle of God with man. At the climax of all things, there is this final announcement. Behold, the tabernacle of God is with man, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. Revelation 21, verse 3, and talk about. And this dwelling of God, uh, we are talking about, takes place on this side of the second coming. And God revealed to us, this coming is known as the new wine. And so if this is the new wine, then it must definitely need new wine skins before you miss a look in reality. So when in my problem, do you mean? Luke chapter 5, verse 37 to 39, and talk about. And no one pour new wine into all wine skins. If he does, the new wine will burst the skins. The wine will run out and the skins will be ruined. No new wine must be poured into wine, new, into new wine skins. And no one after drinking old wine wants the new. For he says the old is better. So our problem is that we are still operating in the old wine skin. And God doesn't have the character to force himself through. He only knocks at the door of our hearts and even we open for him himself coming. Because if because even forcing way blame through, as the Bible and talent, the wine skins will burst. Even forcing way blame through, the wine will run out. Even forcing way blame through, the wine skins will be ruined. Therefore, new wine new wine must only be poured into new wine skins. But in verses 39, it is so interesting, Jesus is saying, And no one, after drinking old wine, wants the new, for he says the old is better. Why did Jesus prophesy that no one, after drinking old wine, wants the new? For they say the old is better. Why? Why not Jesus and tell him all same? Because Jesus has seen what will happen in the future. He knew that we will be taken captive by some kind of opposing systems. We called it the Babylonian system. One and not Babylonian system. A system that will strip us of our uniqueness to conformity. To conform to the norm, the tree of knowledge. A system that will detach us from our own nature. It will be a breakdown, an uproot and a reroot, like a twig cut from the mother tree of life and grafted like a sky onto a different rootstock to bear fruit for them. A system that in time will make us forget our roots, for it will take many good years because our former growth habit have to be totally destroyed. A system that will make us spend the rest of our life cut off from our natural roots, detached from our true nature, 
a child of creation we are, we were, to become a child of the creation who suffers from amnesia. A system that will make us take pride in our successes and forget about our reality because the grafting takes nicely as succumb successfully to their new trade growth habits. A system that makes us to spend the rest of our life with an identity crisis, not knowing who we are because we are dished from our natural roots. A system that makes us to become slaves and walk our whole life and forget what freedom tastes like. And that is what the system, Babylon system is all about. So as a result, it's not too difficult people to recognize that today. And I'm not afraid to say we have been conditioned and have been settled so nicely. It's so evident in this nation today, let me true, that people do not want to accept change easily. They are comfortable with a conventional way of doing things and already accustomed to the old way of life. Have no one ever been looking to blame me. So, church, as the body of Christ, we must realize that we are now in a different era, unlike before. This fellow era has no sense of emotion when we start to come right. And you, when you sit down, and me, when we talk, talk, we are so privileged indeed for Jesus and Luke him come. How about people by doing restoration? No, get all day. You and me were seen before to do this restoration. This era is different, people. An era designed for the body of Christ to operate in the new wine skin in order to contain the new wine. An era that demands us to throw off the old self and put on the new. The era described in the book of Malachi as the day of the Lord. The era of the restoration of all things as described in the book of Acts. The era that requires only the mind of Christ in order to function actively and able to do the right things. The error of the knowledge of the revelation of the glory of the Lord. The error of the habitation of God among his people. The error whom the only one who is worthy in heaven and, and the earth below has come on the scene to open up the scroll and break up its seven seals. The error that Jesus as the King of Kings will battle Satan and his forces. Until he conquers all the nations of the world and makes them the kingdom of our God and of his Christ. The era that Jesus as the captain of the, and the commander of the armies of the Lord of hosts is going to fight his enemies until he finally defeats Satan and his armies. The era that Jesus as the righteous judge will judge the world with righteousness and justice. The era that Jesus as the bridegroom coming to court his bride and to prepare the church for his return. Therefore, church, as the body of Christ, we must aware that there's already a shift in the heavenlies. And its manifestation is so evident right now in this nation, Solomon Islands. Therefore, we have to prepare ourselves as new wine skins in order to contain this new wine. And when I'm not wine skin, you to talk about him here. When I'm not wine skin, why we prepare him here? And how not by we do him? Yeah? The wine skin, number one wine skin is you and me. This body that I'm, is talking up, is, is talking here and is sitting there. This is the first wine skin. We need holiness and righteousness. Alright? Romans 6 verse 19, let me say, I put this in human terms because you are weak in your natural selves, just as you used to over the parts of your body in slavery to impurity and to ever increasing wickedness. So now, over them in slavery to righteousness leading to holiness. This is the first wine skin that they must change. Is the body. So 1 Corinthians 6, 19, 2, have we talk about? Do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. Alright, this body is the first wine skin. Hebrews 12, 14, have we talk about? Make every effort to live in peace with all men and to be holy. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. And people, this is the first wine scheme. Let's give a hand for the Lord. It needs change. Every must change. And the second wine scheme is what? The second wine scheme is our family. Yeah, it's our family. It's the second wine scheme. Father, mother, and children. This is another wine scheme. Relationship here between the family. We need to mend it even no straight. 
We need to restore it, even if not straight. We need to, to remove the old wine skin and put on the new wine skin. Family, yeah. yeah? You may practice in charity. You may practice in uh, uh, some family rules of the family. That is a wine skin where God them like for him stop with them too, yeah? He may like for him stop with them, mommy, daddy, pinginini, low house. This is another wine skin. And this new wine is the glory of God. And glory of God them like for come home. To our homes, and that's why and we must talk to now about the families blame The third wine skin is the home. Yeah, home blow you miss up here. How's your way miss up inside here? How's your what I'm now I'm so important about? Okay, some of the basic things no more. Yeah, or some sanitation or things here. Yeah. You mean like for accommodating God law home. So when I'm, God by him so me celebra and so me celebra. How do we make our home for him entertaining God? How do we make our homes? We have to change this. We have to restore it. If God is not stop like yet, different something now stop like yet. Two, two, one, two for man no more. If God is not here, the other person is here with us. So we like our homes to be in the home of the glory of God. And man is there. All right? And him must, both in and outside, him must show glory to God. Inside the homes, glory be. No need for me to explain it more. You may have one but me giving you some of the hits so that you may work with this fellow wine skin as our home. What's up, Saint Display? We also have this one. It's another wine skin. Yeah, we have, it's another wine skin. We have to apply our protocols because we want the presence of God here in this building. We want the presence of God to be manifested. We want the presence of God to be felt here. All right, so how can we do it? Ellis, if you say, how about doing our own local church display me so that we want to entertain his presence here? So this is another wine skin. All right, so, so let's give a hand for the Lord. Because then by teaching me more on how can we prepare these wine skins for ready now with them this brand new wine here. Yeah. And wine skins stuck here, yeah. even though we've got some government, they're not a wine skin yet. Yeah. God likes to stuff for government too. All right, so that everyone has to relate to this King of Kings and this Lord of Lords. All right, so let me not talk more on that. But me like for giving God. When I'm now this will wine skin, you me like for talking about here. So people, church of God, let's take note. The key, key, it's time we talk about key, key and go, if you got a key, open the door. The key for this for a new wine for me come. You and me. This body here that is speaking right now. The body that is sitting in this church is the key that them have changed first. Key and I, everything else have change if me change, if you change. If we change first, everything surrounds us will change. Am I true? Yes. All right, so that's it. Yes. One full of words and written. Read them. Words written on a tomb of an Anglican bishop in this uh, Westminster Abbey, Lord, great Lord, This fellow wording him say. When I was young and free and my imagination had no limits, I dreamed of changing the world. As I grew older and wiser, I discovered the world would not change. So I shortened my sight somewhat and decided to change my country. But, if, but it too seemed immovable. As I grew into my twilight years, in one last desperate attempt, I settled for changing only my family, those closest to me, but ailers. They would have none of it. And now, as I lie on my deathbed, I suddenly realized, if I had only changed myself first, then by example, I would have changed my family. From their inspiration and encouragement, I would then have been able to better my country. And who knows, I may have been changed the world. Very interesting statement. Many I time I young, and have a power of strong imagination, blame, power of go wild, and then say one day by him changing the world. And then we go away and look him that hey, world you change him here. Okay, and look at look, look, country blow me. Why me change the country blow me here? And look look more that right, eh, me had two ya. Go come say me come back more, me sort them side blow me, me change him family blow me now. And me look look too, so family blame me, or people surround them, no some change too. Go, go and sit and lay down on your deathbed, blame them ready for die now. And just realize him. Me no more, if we change face, everything can change now. 
Yeah? So this is it. The same principle applies here. The key is you and me. We have to change things. Each individual. Everyone in the whole world here, if every individual will change, the world changes now. Am it true? Yes. So therefore, brothers and sisters, change has to begin with oneself. I have to change my world first, and you have to change your world first before we can together change other people's world. Before we can change other people's world. You change your world, I change my world, then I can able to change other people's world. If not, by him hard, by him little bit difficult here, our people blow God. Let me conclude with this text. Well, let me conclude with Hebrews 12. And also in God and talk talk for you and talk talk for me. Let me conclude it with this. As a people and as a church, see to it that we do not refuse him who speaks. If they did not escape when they refused him who warned them on earth, how much less will we if we turn away from him who warns us from heaven? At that time his voice shook the earth. But now he has promised, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful and so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe. For our God is a consuming fire. Why not just all rise and let me pray. Let's rise up and I'll pray and I'll conclude my session. Then I'll give it to other brothers who are to continue with him. Uh, sharing blame and now let me pray my lord your majesty i just want to thank you for your word for us today father i know your gems have been always been there in a word for ages but just that they had not been discovered before father we thank you for choosing us to be the womb for your glory lord we know that in the eyes of the world we are nothing but jesus you are because of you become a people, a people of destiny. We thank you God for choosing us because your word says you have chosen us before stood when you choose to reveal them to whomever you choose. As you have said to your disciples, I praise you Father Lord of heaven and earth because you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned and revealed them to little children. With this, I am now rest assured because it is your business to ensure that your word is communicated and impressed in the minds and hearts of everyone when we will not listen today. We thank you and we praise you and everybody agree with me and say, Amen. Amen. Let's keep standing and we ask our worship team to sing this song. Yea, God, Kufurto Blanahuamboy. Lord bless your name. Inside your presence, play. So we ask him, brothers, let's sing this song as a uh, our prayer together. Yeah, you may come and look your face for Jesus. And now I'm leading you in this journey. Where am I ahead of us?
Let the baby give another hand for seven for four. Thank you, Elder Henry for That's the assignment for you, me, change from God. We shall be here and come. You may talk about come. I believe today it's about doing it. Yeah, change from God. You come by for you now. You now, first wine ski. Yeah, Romans say it, they say the creation is groaning. This creation is waiting for the one who subject. Who is it? You and I, me and I. Am I right? You may thank him, God. Now, you may kind of honor this morning too for welcoming one of our LWB John, same from the land of peace, to come and share his heart with us. Let's keep that together. Thank you. You may pray. God of peace, stand before you in the land of warfare. We want to acknowledge you as the Prince of Peace. Today, you God Almighty, as you have said in your word, where the glory is, the manifestation of his, his peace. And so, Father, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together will bring glory and honor to your holy name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. A very good afternoon, everyone. I believe and trust you must be tired of sitting now, but I am coming from the land of peace, where everything is peaceful, and even to the point you cannot able to have some downloads, you cannot be able to see revelations because the place is so peaceful that you just sit quietly and sleep quietly in the presence of God. You will be feeling tired. You will be experiencing such thing. But for me now in the land of peace, whether two or three hours, it's just okay. But today I believe and trust God is saying something to us. Honiara Aleph, the land of warfare, the message where God has given you me. This is a closing of a chapter. When you hear a summary of a book, that is the end of it. And God is taking us through this summary as the servant of God is bringing all these information to us, bringing us to a point that this is where we come to stop, to enter into the new season, comes October. And so that is why today, beloved brothers and sisters in the Lord, I can't have to move up now. Have me no more run. Love inside church, please. It has to come to the time that the church of God has to close one chapter. I enter into a new era and begin to see the face of God in the new season that God is bringing the church into in anointing Jesus the King of Glory. Amen. That is why today, beloved brothers and sisters in the Lord, we have the joy for after 30 years of traveling with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, He has to bring us to the new season to begin in the land of warfare, in the land of glory, in the Solomon Islands. And today, brothers and sisters in the Lord, my dear leaders, whether you accept him or not, can we stand before God and tell God, yes, we're willing to close this chapter and enter into this new season to anoint you as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and the King of Glory in the Solomon Islands. And this is the day, beloved brothers and sisters in the Lord. The day has come. The day that we are longing for. The day that we are looking for. The day that we are dreaming about. The day that we are crying for. It's now on our source. It's now in our land. It's now in our midst. It's now with us. And we are the recipients. And we are the people to bring about this final showdown of what God is going to do with His glory in the same time. So praise be to God. What's the leader? Say, all right? For any closing chapter, yeah? And every mother's leader, she will be all right? For in the closing chapter, the summary has come. And we have to step into the new season as of today. Today, I think New Year for Israel, New Year, number 25. So it's a new season, my brothers and sisters in the world. And let us just sing this song in the land of glory. We will no land of peace, we will no declare now. We will anoint you, King, now. In the land of peace, we anoint you, King Jesus. For your glory will grow all men in October 
God to Solomon Islands. For your glory is drawing men and women, brothers and sisters all over the world. Whether they will watch through the media device that is on here. Or whether they will see it through the Facebook. Or whether they will hear from somebody. But the glory of God that we are talking about. That we are talking about for the past 30 years. Is now drawing men unto him. So musicians. Why not we just sing the song. In the land of warfare. We anoint you as king. As we close this chapter. This summary that is coming. And the church of God will move on. Can we all rise?
opportunity just to bypass us. And today as we stand and close this chapter, the word of God says in Isaiah 45 verses 22, Look to me and be saved. All you ends of the earth, for I am God and there is no other. I have sworn my, by myself. The word has gone out of my mouth in righteousness. And sound of return. That to me every knee shall bow. Shut up. We forecast and look to this great God, the King of glory. And he said to the ends of the earth, look to me. That every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall make an oath. Make a confession. Make a commitment in righteousness with this holy God. Where he behaves somebody about all this world. The one that we can look to. To this God who creates the heaven and the earth. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God. Today we want to give you praise and thanks. We want to acknowledge you into your word of God. As leaders of God in the land of warfare. And depend on you. And stand with you. And talk with you O oh God. And through us O oh God. That every need shall bow. And every tongue will make an oath. I bring you greetings from the land of peace. I'm a story a little bit no more. Then I think it will be finished now. <laughs> yes. Stream brought me down to Western Province. Check up with the families around here in Western Province. To finish now. And then. Uh. Me look out into God, what is it that you call him me for Solomon Island? Say, you raise his call of Gison, and you launch him, Prince Peace, into his work, the capital of the land of peace. And so, because me knew man law there two years old, everyone knows as well me, and then me try to give him story, go on me like I'm law Gison. And, uh, okay, the law Gison, three fellow woman law him, and then I'll get a talk to him, a man law, where I come here. So I better try to ring around, find them information about who is this man coming to us? What is he going to share to us? And I better try and go go no more so I better go to the garden block. I better make a meeting now inside the garden. And as I better meeting the garden, if I talk about arrival, go me go no more. I go go master talent, I better. Allah help me. So me come, I better welcome me there. And time me arrive in the garden, Every family is no movie where all the simple families no more. I am not sure it's all same you me. Where all get from Colo Colo, all get from Ranonga, all get from Choiso, and some fellow United Church where around Lo Giso, they are coming to Giso, and then we start for sale. Look at Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, starting from number nine, number ten, and number eleven, and then we come back from all get along number twelve. And then time we arrive back more, we come back to the Kolobangara and we ask for anyone where you stop here, even you Kasim Aroma or where lo, uh, move of the glory of God, you hear them story around lo here, please you come out. And so everyone lo, get a come out last Sunday and then we hold them that weekend more with him all get a, and share with him okay, just to encourage them and lift them up. But go back a little bit on the Father's Day. Me to me look him say, oh, what now? But you miss have a dream for Father's here. And then me say, oh, maybe celebrations and we go ahead, no Father's Day. And all say, you be doing it every time. But God said, no, you call the fathers out and let them come and clothe themselves. And they prepare to anoint this king of glory that is about to come in this new chapter. You cannot allow the fathers just to sit quietly. You cannot allow them just to sleep and watch. From the land of peace, you call out the fathers that they must come out from where they are so that they can able to walk out freely and exercise their God-given rights to able to commit themselves and their families and their homes and their churches and their tribes and their men and women inside is about to dawn in this nation. And so that is what I mean happened on the day Father's Day and we have called them out and they are coming in good numbers because we say, well, oh, hey, yeah, yeah. the moment of giving Father to you, you have a responsibility, you have a status in God, you have a right son that God has been living you inside. Have you not never ever to give him no primary school? Have you not given him over to give him no secondary school? Have you not never ever to give him the last day? That they must come out. This is the reset soldiers beside this warrior that God has raised him. You may call them over the young people, the troops here. 
but fathers are received ones. And when they will come out one day and assist the troops and move in this new season with the glory of God. So that is a little bit of day peace. And after me say, okay, you will arrest first time. You will know sex sick. You will sleep good by the peace more. We run all along the way first time. For me, a little bit Lily Sin Campo. When a man's story by me, all along the way now. And let them be to be like for part of this whole program where he may come up, where you may say that you may look forward for. And I believe and trust following this prayer movement that God is leading us into for the past 31 years now, beginning of 1991, but if we reset it down to 1984 by my 39 or 38 years. But that was when the vision of God means the full detail of what is going into the new season, but it is about the highlights the headlines of what is going to bring about what is it that we are going into in this new season. And so because of that, and I begin to say, yes, this is the new season that God is now beginning to burn in Solomon Islands. He is now raising a new chapter. He is now raising a new season. He is now raising a new era. Reading the word of God. And then we go about Jesus Christ. Tell stories here, six days, some of them said two days before the Passover, and then heavy something happened where heavy little bit unusual and heavy not recognizable for questioning what is this that you are doing about a woman that is bringing out the oil of alabaster as the final showdown where Jesus had come for him have any hung on the cross. The first one, have it again in the book of Luke chapter 7, verses 36 down to 50. Inside our house, blood Simon the Pharisee, the leper. And time this old woman had me coming with him, this one, had me come and had me anointed feet, blood Jesus Christ. And then Simon the Pharisee and had Messiah. If he's truly the Christ, he will recognize Simon. Have me not stop anointing my feet, kissing my feet, wiping my feet with a decent towel into your house to anoint the King of Glory in some house for you. Are we fathers anoint the King of Glory bring the decent towel or if we say, well, what more better to do with me? But the mommy stuck for love for you, me. Say, hey, what better daddy, you would fail now. When this tabernacle of God, this message is coming to us. My family was able for look at the protocols that is related to the arrival of the King of Glory in his home. They say, Simon, I am now in your home, but you never wipe my feet, you never wash my feet, you know how many towel for up on the day, you know how many to me today. Where is the protocol that you father should show to me? That is the challenge. And let's jump on to another story. Inside our book of John chapter 12, Race to Life. And this will anointing and happen, Lord, there, Jesus. Jesus. And then, Bible, have it tell him, this one here for glory, blow God, have me reveal here. And so during that occasion, this Lazarus, where he died, was sitting at the table with Jesus. And Mother, have me continue for serve. Despite of the glory having inside the home here, but she continues to serve, 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 doing all that she can do, doing all that is better to her, doing what she understands is better. But she did not recognize the very significant moment that the anointing is going to come in the home. Beloved mothers, from 2018, where the message had come through the time from mothers to you, the tabernacle of God is now with us. No good you continue to say, I'm not going to come and to them. No good you continue to do services that they will never even go closer to the anointing of Jesus, making Jesus recognized as the King of glory, as the King of kings in our homes, in our places, in our families, in our houses. And so, dear mothers in the Lord, we are now entering a new season. The king is sitting in your home. He is there. Where is the frankincense? Where is the ointment? Where is the oil that had become? And you saw the time had become woman. And, and you saw because sometimes of mothers, you may also sell and you may a little bit to look strong or him to your focus. You saw because you manage him home. Him step. And I wonder my name, Judas, and say, hey, what's
perhaps should be spent out for money or sell them out and then bao ka give him sell them for the poor people story about the mommy you may live in lone you may run come back to more another story mommy chapter 26 verses 3 go down to 9 and also the look chapter 14 verses 3 go down allo mark tu wala story and this wala lepa he be see down go there and then woman ya come with an expensive pair of Jesus but any prayer in her head that symbolizes every young one's for Jesus of travel to encourage the poor remain poor to give them money God, no 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 my beloved young people we are the one who anoints Jesus Simon the leper complain when happen or Simon the Pharisee Jesus not answer him Open what happened inside the house for mother and Mary where Judas is carried. Judas now him do it. But this was a woman with this was oil where he may come before this king of glory and he may anoint him and say, This is not my worry. This is your worry, Jesus, to reply to all the criticism, to all the hardships, to all the persecution, to all the trials, to everything that they say about me. But I am going to anoint you as king of glory in my home, in my life, in my church, in my nation, in my tribe, in my family. She never said anything. She was keeping silent. The only thing that we bring out is this one here, this great perfume. Church of God, the question might come, for what here? For what are we doing these things? For what is this that we are going to do in October? What a nice happening, this prayer movement, after we've heard the whole summary of the ends of the earth. For the day has come. And every time we John chapter 12, every cell of verses 30, 1, 32, 33, uh, sorry, 30, 30, 31, 32, and 33. Him said, time you look in these things and come, when Jesus and all said, the judgment of God is beginning in the world. And then Jesus and said, and I, verses 32, if I be lifted and alive, like, what did he say? I will be. The October comes. You not come for anointing more, you come for breaking perfume beer. And let the perfume beer have it smell inside our nation here. And I want more. Or you be die alone, good too. But let the perfume where you be keep him and you be protect him and you be take care of him for the past 30 years has to be broken in Solomon Islands. Oh, it is the righteousness, the truth, the purity of this God. And the day when you become church of God, she break it, have not the top. People complain, no people argue, no people can help us. They are sitting in the grandstand watching. The glory of God that you have kept, that you have traveled with for the past 30 years.